clear the passage of life. Xiefeng. August 14, 2017. Translated by Feng Xing. By the existence of things, we profit, and by the non existence of things, we are served. For something to be useful, it must be empty. Water can only flow freely through pipelines that are empty. If they are not empty, its flow will be restricted. The most obvious example is how drains in kitchens and washrooms become blocked when garbage clogs the pipes. A pipe clogged by garbage is useless. The only way to solve that problem is to remove the garbage, otherwise, it becomes useless. Life is like a passage which must be kept clear. Once extra clutter enters it, life will become weak and powerless, will be rigid and corrupted and even useless. When I study life and contrast a life that is bound for heaven with the one that is going to hell, I find that the passage of heaven-bound lives is clear, whereas the ones of hell-bound lives are filled with extra clutter and are badly blocked. What exactly blocks the passage of life? Above all, we must learn what life is. Life is a non-material structure with spirituality, which shows its character mainly through the consciousness, also called the soul. Actually, life, soul, and consciousness are the same thing. In order to talk about it more conveniently and clearly, I substitute consciousness for life, and when I speak of consciousness, I really mean life. Life's passage is blocked right by clutter in the consciousness. Let us examine the types of things that clutter our consciousness. Joy, anger, sorrow, happiness, grief, fear, and fright do it. Property, money, reputation, status, and power do it. Tao, virtue, benevolence, righteousness, courtesy, and faith do it. Relatives, families, nationalities, groups, political parties, religions, and nations do it. Faith, ideals, successes, proposals, and targets do it. All of our knowledge, education, and experience does it. All the views which have been formed about life, values, life, and the universe do it. Ideas from traditions and religions do it. Everything listed above are obstacles that block the passage of life. Now let us look at the teachings of Laozi, Sakyamuni, and Jesus. The core of Laozi's teachings is nothingness, returning to being a baby. Sakyamuni's teachings focus on being empty. One's mind should not abide in form, sound, smell, taste, touch, or dharma. Your mind should not abide in anything. The core of Jesus' teachings is, you should be converted and become one as little child. The teachings of Celestial, Buddha, and God focus on one point, that is clearing the passage of life. Why should we clean life to keep it flowing smoothly? The answer is obvious. When a water pipe is blocked, it is useless. When a bedroom is stuffed, no one can occupy it. When the passage of life is blocked, life will lack of nimbus and will slip down toward hell, so it is necessary to clear the passage of life. With respect to real life, the more possessions that one owns, the more trouble, worries, fright, and the less freedom, elegance, and flexibility they have. The more that clutters their consciousness, the more rigid, possessive, stubborn, and conservative they become. The more they dare not to take one step beyond the limit. A life like this actually become more miserable, tiring, and tragical. Einstein once said that what prevented him from thinking was the education he had received. I can tell you that what prevents one from achieving happiness, joy, freedom, and blessing comes from what they have possessed in their consciousness. And what prevents mankind from achieving peace, happiness, and sustained prosperity is exact what they hold fast to. I understand fully the broad way to heaven and how a person achieves a happy life and I know clearly how mankind can avoid man-made and natural disasters and how to realize a sustainable development, but more importantly, I know how a life can arrive in heaven. However, few believe my words because people's passages of life are too cluttered. Accordingly, if one wants a better life and wants to arrive in heaven, they must clear their own life passage first.